In Season 5 of DMZ, we've started doing missions for Shadow Company as they try to work out what's going on with the Connie group. And I think this is all building up towards the COD 2023 reveal event. And I know people probably know stuff about this already, but I don't read leaks or anything like that. So let's just humor me and not talk about leaks or anything. I'm going to keep calling it COD 2023 throughout this video. This is the first time, as far as I remember at least, that we've really seen the DMZ missions actually kind of leading up to something, building up to something that's in the future and giving us a hint about what to expect. So with the Shadow Company missions, you first of all just want to investigate what's going on with Connie Group in the first place. There's a big mysterious ship just parked off the coast of Almazva, just near the airport. You go onto there and you find that they've got these giant missile launchers on there and it looks like they've already offloaded a few. You also head to other locations like Ashika Island where you get some notes off the bomb maker. He was apparently hired by Connie Group to try and build some sort of weapons that would crack open something under the observatory, so under Mount Zaya. And obviously we know there's a big bunker door there, so we figure that's probably what they're talking about. You also go into Building 21 and in that mission, Shadow Company have said that Connie Group have taken over Building 21 and that they've stolen some of Shadow Company's extraction protocols. And when you get these back and you read them, it talks about going to building one. It talks about trying to get some trucks ready to go through some secret tunnels to building one. So it looks like there's another building. And again, if you go to the Mount Zaya Observatory, to the big bunker door there, there's a big T1 outside. So I'm starting to think that maybe this building one, where Shadow Company were hiding something nefarious that Connie Group are trying to get into, is building one. Now, when you go find the missile launchers that Connie Group have already set up in our Mazwa, so they're very close to doing this plan, the first one is in the graveyard. Then there's a note on the side which will show you where another random one is. So there could be one in the football ground in Sarif Bay, on the side of Al Sharim Pass, kind of on the farms there, up near Mauze Marshlands. There's loads of different places that they could potentially spawn. And the idea is that Connie Group is getting these ready to attack the Zyra Observatory. So why do I think this is part of the COD 2023 reveal? When you look at the blog post from the beginning of Season 5, they actually had like a little paragraph about that reveal event. And there's a picture of Mount Zyra with kind of everything being on fire by the looks of it and maybe the domes being a little bit destroyed. And it says that there's some kind of chemical weapon in there and you're going to be joining up with Shadow Company to try and stop Connie Group getting it. In an assault plan that you pick up off Connie troops in one of these missions, they say, once we're able to open up the target, our team needs to set security around the site's south side while evac teams extract the sensitive objective inside. Anticipate shadow company interference. There's no retreating from this critical objective. So it sounds to me like in this Call of Duty 2023 revered event, we're going to be siding up with Shadow Company to try and stop the Connie forces from breaking into Mount Zaya, from breaking into this bunker that's underneath Mount Zaya. I'm assuming that the missiles are going to launch and blow open some of these doors or maybe blow open a side of the mountain. We're going to go inside and be fighting in there. And what I think is probably going to happen is we're going to lose and Connie group are going to escape with whatever this chemical weapon is, whatever it is that I assume they've been working on in building 20 that caused the evacuation of that place and then that's going to set up the next call of duty game the connie group are going to be like the bad guys in that and them having this chemical weapon is going to be like the main thing that we're trying to go after or alternatively this could be nothing to do with that event and maybe this is just about opening up a new point of interest maybe in season five reloaded we're going to get a new bunker underneath mount zaya and that's going to be a new place that we can fight on in DMZ and in Warzone. Maybe that's what's going to happen. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please don't post leaks or anything like that. That's no fun. Speculating's a lot more fun. I'm pretty convinced that this has just been setting up the COD 2023 event. And then after that event happens, which I assume will be in the mid-season or just before the mid-season, then we'll get the rest of the missions for DMZ, the rest of the Shadow Company missions, and they'll kind of do a little bit more building up towards the next game once we kind of know what's happening. I think that'd be really awesome. And I really like this way of using DMZ to tell a story that kind of ties the different bits of the game together. I think that's really cool. And I'm glad they're finally doing something interesting with the DMZ story. If you found this interesting, if you like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.